everyone, it's Miss Frodo. And Domo again. And we are here with a Lego Legends of, we don't know how to say it, we're guessing Kaima. Could be Chima, but who knows? It could be. Uh, this is set 70224, Tiger's Mobile Command. Yeah, I picked this one out, as you can see. Uh, where do we get this? Was this the, the, the Walmart near us? If you look closely here on the edge, you can see that it's, it was marked considerably off. And actually, the final price, it ended up actually being $49. So you're looking at $30 off for this. So I, I really had to grab it. It does look really cool. I love tigers. Tigers are my spiritual animal. I like to think it's probably more likely a panda because I am pretty lazy and I like to eat. But I like to think I'm a tiger. Right, uh, Miss Frodo? I think uh, you could be... A tiger panda. Tiger panda. Ooh, so I could be like a red panda. Yes. yes. I feel oh, those that. are cute. That's your spirit. I'm feeling animal. it. All right, so I don't know much about this series at all. I, I, I haven't watched any of the cartoons. I think there's cartoons online or on Cartoon Network. I'm just assuming that these are the good guys and these are the bad guys. Now, the only reason why I, I surmise that is that one of the good, one of the people I think, well, one of the person on this side is, 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 a, is a beaver. So, I mean, you don't have bad guy beavers, especially that look that cute. I mean, come on. He's got little buck teeth. Rush, rush, rush. So, I'm thinking this is a good guy. <laughs> I'm thinking. Um, this is a 712 piece. It has cool tank treads, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, Miss Frodo, anything you want to say? Anything you like about it? it has a little launchers. Yeah, it's it's certainly different from anything I've ever seen. Let's open her up. It's, oh, we had to go in the back first, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh, wow. That's... That's different. Yeah, it looks like uh, you can collect a bunch of different types of things here. I don't really know. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, sorry about that. Um, who they are again. They kind of look like gods of some sort. And it looks like it breaks off into different pieces. So here you have like some sort of like radio tower. And then you have like defense grids. And Lord knows what else. So yeah. It, you can explore it online. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to know more. And uh, if you do know more, please let us know. But, um, yeah. So let's open this guy up. Okay. Hey. Just break my whole tabletop scissors are right over there. All right. Miss Rhoda, you want to do the honors? No, I'll let you do it. Huh? This, is, this is your spirit animal, Tiger Panda. Tiger Panda. One. Okay, so they're numbered. So that means we're probably going to be doing it in sets, I'm going to assume. Oh, that's a big buck. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty thick. Got some stickers. Stickers always freak me out with Legos because they never go on I'm just right. I'm horrible at stickers. They're always off. I feel bad that they're not perfectly centered. Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. It's open. Oh, that's a new one. Something's oh. open. So let's, uh, let's put that back inside here. That's the first I've ever seen that with a Lego. Maybe set. that's why it was marked off. Well, I mean, they wouldn't know it was open on the inside. What was worse than the stickers was when I was a kid and I had my Barbies and my Littlest Pet Shops and they had mirror stickers and you had to put it on as a mirror. That was oh, impossible. Oh, that sounds horrible. I would imagine your Ninja Turtles didn't do that very much. Not so much. There was ooze involved, though. Oh. More pieces flying Yeah, everywhere. so definitely, yeah, some pieces flying about. It is nice to do give you another... Uh, Brick separator, as you can see there, one of the most useful items Legos ever created, especially for those three in one sets, so you can kind of break them apart a lot faster and make your next set. Ooh. Oh, it's like a dragon head. Who's a dragon? Oh no, it's a wolf. Never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> it's still cool though. All right, we're gonna assemble this thing off camera, and we'll show you what it looks like put together. Ooh. We are back with the completed Tiger's Mobile Command. Yes. It's uh, it's kind of big. It wasn't too hard to put together. Uh, I think the hardest part was really just doing the tank treads and making sure any kind of the technic pieces were a little bit harder to do. But otherwise that, it wasn't much of a hard build. Definitely kid friendly. The tank part is really cool. It uh, it does move on this. It doesn't uh, It doesn't move that well. Um, you really need a bumpy surface with something for it to grip. So this is like a little sheet, um, and it seems to do okay. It does really well on carpet. If you're playing on a hardwood floor, it's not going to tread as well. You're yeah. going to have to sort of like Well, you could just it spin it in the end yeah. and kind of move it along. So right. I'm going to try to turn. Uh, let's, yeah. We're going to turn so you can see it's big tiger. Rawr. Rah. Rah. 
I love the teeth there. So it looks like just a giant tiger. I love the markings on the head. And these, this is not a sticker, but there are a lot of stickers on this that you actually did a good job putting them on without screwing them up. I think, uh, I think I, uh, a lot of practice now with these stickers. It's definitely kind of a, an art. So you've got these little flames shooting out of here. Lots of things that shoot different things. Behind these two white panels are cars that you can shoot out that the tigers can move in. Up here, this is Eris. It looks like it says E-R-I-S. Yeah, Eris. And stay, stay. This is what he looks like. Should I get some of that detail? Oh. I love the flaming wings. He's like a phoenix, except I don't think he really is. I think what the weird thing is, though, once you take off their helmet, if you want to hold him down. <laughs> this is like a little blue duck. It looks kind of like thing. a little pigeon or something, yeah. And it does have a second head. I'm sorry it's going all dark. I'll move my hand away in just a sec. I don't know if it's any different than the other one. It's just two-headed. Hmm. I, I don't see a difference in the expression. No, this one, this uh, one is a little angrier, I think. Think so? The eyebrows are just slightly... <laughs> It's a very faint difference. Yeah, the eyebrows are slightly down in this one, and they're slightly more up in this one. But yeah, it's pretty much the same head. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so I'll let you put that back together. All right. And uh, we'll, we'll pivot this way so you guys can get a view of the other side. This whole back section does come off. I'll rotate it back to Domo and let him go over that. I think it's kind of interesting, it has like little ray guns on the side, and you can kind of see in there that there's Breezor the beaver dude in there. And I like to think that maybe as they're going into battle, you know, he's able to like, you know, aim these things and shoot all around to kind of, you know, supplement the large laser batteries and fire shooting stuff uh, on the front. And all you do, it's just a little ball joint in there, it's not, hold, not, a whole, not a whole lot holding it together. Let's pull it back a little bit, a little finesse, try not to break anything, there we go. So there you go, so it's a separate piece. It looks kind of cool from here. And what it does is uh, put the gangplank way. down, you fold the tires up, and just like that, you have kind of like a little command center with Brezor, the tiny, tiny little beaver guy in the back. I, I don't know how good of a fighter he'd be, but he does have a really big wrench on him. And does he have a beaver face under his... No, he's he's headless under this. Oh, that's it, there's a creepy. Nothing, yeah. He, he's the only one that has a completely blank front. And sadly, unlike all the other ones, uh, he doesn't have abs. So I kind of feel bad for this guy. Because uh, he's sitting in the back, working on the computer. He's probably doing all the real hard work. And this one does have Miss Frodo legs. No articulation Thank here. Thank you. So, so he's a little bit shorter than the rest. But I'm sure he's still a valued member in the team. This, this is going to sound silly, but it kind of rem reminds me of something from, like, The Empire Strikes Back that, like, the Emperor would sit in. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Is I that can, just me? I can see that. Because it's, like, the little thin shuttle. And also in the back, there's these little strong boxes you see in a lot of Lego sets. I've seen this piece in a couple of sets. I'm not 100% sure what this is supposed to be. I like to think that I think that they can hold on to these, like the little tiger guys. Because there's a little, tiny little nub on the back of it. I think you can put it in their hands and then they have like, you know, like, like Wolverine claws. That would be cool. And attack things. Or maybe it's some sort of like currency. I'm not sure. Because on the other side, when you open it up, you have a little, Ooh. little blue crystal in there. Uh, oh, and it's too dark. But yeah, blue crystal. Well, we could pop it out probably. Yeah, I'm going to close the other little claw. And as you can see, like, maybe... Because I, what I think is really cool about more of these, uh, these newer sets is that there's a lot of imagination involved, even though you have to build it a certain way to make it work. Like, I was thinking maybe, like, you have a fire crystal up top here, so maybe this gets, like, broken or lost by the enemy, or it runs out of power, and so the whole idea is that you have a backup one, just in case. Or it might actually have to do something with the Kaima series that I have no idea about. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I might just be making things up. But that's, that's the fun with Lego. And without the back, it looks really funny because it looks like a guy that's been at the gym but only works his upper body. Because there's these two tiny little wheels in the back. And he'll push it along. <laughs> Alright, let's get this back connected back up. And, w well, you can shoot the front cars with the back part in it, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. You can see from the back here... Um, you have these two little plungers, 
right here. And what you do, you can release the cats. So you just push the gangplank forward. And if you push it out, you don't you can push it out pretty hard. And the guys come right out. So it's really cool. So it's a real it's a fun uh, mechanism that they, they have. They don't have a lot of power on the cloth. So, so to play with the tank part, you want to use carpet. To play with these guys, you want to use the hardwood floor, basically. Yes. Uh, well, you don't have to. I mean, you know, I like these because they kind of remind me of Akira. If you've ever seen that Japanese anime. Because it's kind of, it kind of looks like they're, um, it's they're like motorcycles. It's a big, thick motorcycle. Yeah. And you do cool wheelies. And these guys are pretty cool. Uh, this one, I believe, is Trakar. And he's got Kitty Cat uh, six-pack. And then you have Tazar over there. Who also has a kitty a six cat. Pack. A kitty cat six pack. These guys are built. And you have they even they even have the little tiny toes on them, which is pretty awesome Aww. too. They don't have tails painted onto them though. I'm yeah, and like surprised. and like the other one, you take off the heads and they have features on them. Uh and they they, they mimic the helmets slash their actual heads. So I'm not really sure. Again, I don't know the series. Maybe that's what they look like normally. And these are like their battle helmets. I have no idea. But they're still pretty cool. And if you look really closely, it's hard to see. There you go. Oh, God, right there. He does have a little fire emblem uh, on his uh, chest plate, which is pretty nice. This one doesn't. Detail. He must be lower in command. He doesn't have anything fancy on his chest. Or maybe he's just like the toughest one and doesn't need he armor doesn't to protect need the his armor. six packs, deflect bullets and spears. <laughs> so these guys are fighting. Well, we haven't done the best part, Liz. Okay, list. all right. Uh, Miss Frodo. So, what's cool about this one is that oh, you yeah. can go into attack mode with it. Maybe if I turn it forward a little bit, you can see a little better. There you go. And when you push forward on this, the arms come out, the flames come out, and then your little uh, disc launchers shoot forward. So let me do that again. Ah! Don't shoot them at Attack your mode! Friends. Only shoot them at other Legos. That's correct. Lego will tell you this in the instructions. So it's really cool. So you can be like rolling along, you know, you see the bad guys, you can open up and shoot out your guys on the motorcycle. It's very, very intimidating. Let's turn him around to the, the backdrop and uh, test fire a shot. Sure. Try not to knock over my backdrop. I'm hanging on to it. It's a very thin piece of cloth. All right, so I had to go in, first I had to go into attack mode. And then... I do find with these, you want to put, like, you can put them in one click. It's a little, actually, let me, let me shoot it out first. Oh. oh, that looks cool. So it's a little a little flame motif on it again. It's a nice little shooter. And when you put it in, you can just do it at one click. And it's still kind of hanging out the front. You can kind of see. But it doesn't shoot as far when you do that, I find. It seems to work a little better if you just stick it all the way in there and fire. Choo! Oh, they hit themselves. <laughs> all right, so. Let's take these away. Any more attack paraphernalia you need to show off? No, but it is really cool. The flames on these things is really sweet. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the, um, the Ninjago flames that they use yeah. on a lot of their dragons and such. Which I really can't sweet. imagine they would have used the same mold. No, 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 no. no, no. So, we're not really sure if these are bad guys that they're fighting, or if they're just on the opposite side. I kind of feel bad for them, because it looks like they have barely any firepower. I know. Well, in this set, they just have a couple of things. So, we have this little catapult here, and we have two guys. This is, okay, the white one is Sir Fangar. And he has a pretty cool gun. His gun actually is a little, if you look at it, has, it's like a little claw, a little scary paw. It's like a big paw. And if you look at him... Um, Kind of closely. Let's take the gun off. Yep. Maybe without br breaking anything. Boop. Ooh, he yeah. has different colored arms. So yeah, he has a blue leg and a blue arm. So it's like a see-through plastic here and a regular plastic. And again, take off the hat. Actually, look at these. Looks like he hasn't brushed very well because he's got a gold <laughs> crown here on his, on his uh, fang. He also has, it looks like a purple scar. So I guess they bleed purple. So, different. Take it off. Again... That is scary. <laughs> That's a pretty that, how, frightening bad guy. How close can I get you to focus? That is scary. <laughs> they, he kind of reminds me of uh, the, the ice things from Game of Thrones. Oh, the, the, the whites? Yes, that would be the word that I was looking for. He does have a pretty cool cape. Um, 
it is kind of like one of those cheaper capes. Uh, I, I do like the ones that I see more like in the DC series where it's a little thicker quality. It kind of bends a little more. It's just a little more papery and stiff, but still nice. Uh, still pretty nice. Oh, he has two faces too. And again, a uh, very... They're both equally mean. This one's slightly less mean, or maybe he's more inquisitive on this one. <laughs> I'm not sure. And we also have Cybris. Come here. And she, again, has one blue leg, one regular leg. She's got this weird little gun thing, too. Not as cool as Sir Fangar's. And, again, a blue arm here and a regular white arm there. And focus. Oh, oh no! Nothing happened. There is her creepy face. So, from the name Cybris, it sounds like Tigress. And this does sort of look like a tiger, but... Her helmet is a wolf helmet. Yeah. By the looks of it. She only has one face. So I'm not really sure. Maybe she's like a tiger wolf hybrid or she just likes that name. I don't know. But, the, oh, get your gun. So they can attack the <laughs> fire tiger people. I don't know the name of like the thing that they. <laughs> No, I they idea. fight for, but uh, they've got a little bit of ammunition here. Let's get a target. There we go. And I will never see this little piece again. It's like a little piece of ice. Yeah, we'll try to track it. Yep. So it goes in in here. Yep. And then it goes. Phew. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what I meant to to say, holding it down this time, is that it goes. Hmm. They, they don't have a lot of firepower on their side, do they? All right, one more time. Pachoo! Yeah. I um, mean, these, I have to admit, these guys are probably the bravest, because if you're going to be fighting this huge monstrosity with this tiny little catapult... I'm going to make it work. Oh! Yeah, I'll never find that one. Yeah, that went directly into the trash can. Yeah, that's... that's fun. That's why they give you spares. That's right. You got two spares. <laughs> so you can give it power, but uh, my aim's not very good. I missed the tiger machine just by a few feet. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Who is your favorite strange little character from I mean, this mess? I can't go wrong with like the, the cool fire wings and stuff like that. He's pretty cool heiress, but I'm probably... the be a little different. I like I like Sir Fangar's pretty cool. He's he has a lot of cool details on him. I love the gold tooth. The you know does he have the different colored eyes? No, but he has different colored eyed stuff around him. So I think I like him the best. He's pretty cool. I, I think maybe they're made out to be the bad guys, but they're just misunderstood. I like that idea. All right, so they're the misunderstood bad guys with horrible aim, and these are the so-called good guys with lots of firepower. These poor guys are severely outnumbered. <laughs> well, I mean, if you look at the other set, uh, I think the ice guys have like some sort of like Cyberman robot thing. Good, they, they need it. Uh, yeah, they're going to need something. <laughs> mm. All right, <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching Miss Frodo's Toy Horde. Bye!